At MDA this year, it was very interesting that there were several different tracks that one would was able to attend. And one of the tracks was called the holistic track, which I really appreciated, uh, particularly as a clinician. And what was helpful there was having topics to discuss that maybe we don't think are as sexy as some of the novel therapies, but are just as important. So this section on digestive health was amazing. And Dr. McGratton from Minnesota talked about some of the issues that patients have with swallowing. And we know that any patient with neuromuscular weakness has difficulty, but focus specifically on the uh, Duchenne group um, that really there's a very, very high incidence of patients who have swallowing difficulties, either oral or pharyngeal. And it's something that we maybe haven't looked at quite as closely as we should have. So that was very helpful looking at doing some video fluoroscopy and looking at how patients swallow and having some very concrete kinds of treatments and therapies that we can do <clears throat> at home, that patients can do at home to try to help with chewing and swallowing, which of course has a lot to do with quality of life. Um, we also had Dr. Call, uh, a gastroenterologist who spoke about the GI tract and constipation issues. And we know in any patient with weakness, such as DMD or LGMD, that constipation is a huge issue that we need to try to prevent. But if a patient really does have difficulty with constipation, that we need to have effective treatment. It's something that we really need to stay on top of and ask about. I was actually fascinated with one of the trials that uh, he had, had mentioned um, that transit time is not decreased in patients with Duchenne dystrophy. And I actually had thought that it was. So, um, you know, what kinds of treatments do we really look at in terms of helping with constipation? Uh, and then Laura Watney, who is a wonderful nutritionist, went through each of the stages of Duchenne dystrophy from the, you know, pre-symptomatic to the symptomatic to early ambulatory, late ambulatory, going through what are the nutritional issues for each of those stages. What do we think about in terms of oral motor difficulty, in terms of food difficulty, in terms of caloric intake, in terms of weighing too much, weighing too little? Um, what do we really need to think about with each stage of dystrophy as we go from babies to men? Uh, and that was very, very helpful as well. So I think some of these just standard care issues and clinical care issues really impact the quality of life for our patients with limb girdle dystrophy as well as Duchenne dystrophy. And we really need to keep those in mind um, because they're the anchors of treatment and how we care for patients. And the novel therapies coming on top are wonderful, but we really have to make sure that our patients are healthy and happy to be able to benefit from the new therapies. Mm -hmm.